the whale's dragon. Not Becky, she's not the dragon. That's the dragon. That's Becky. We're such good vloggers. watched our Brecon Beacon video, you saw us arriving in Cardiff. And if you haven't, um, well, that's awkward. <clears throat> anyway, we really wanted to share with you this fab city and what better way to explore a new place than by foot. We had a few hours to kill before meeting up with Becky and Sarah. So we headed towards the city center. Strolling along, Marie and I noticed a carousel ride. Obviously we broke out our playground rules, threw some elbows, paid our tickets and found the perfect ponies for a thrilling, two-minute ride. Absolutely worth it for a couple of kids at heart. Wandering around the arcades, which is what they call an outdoor shopping center, we were famished. Luckily, we found a restaurant bar called The Alchemist, where we met up with the rest of our friends for dinner. We enjoyed it so much, we went back a few times. Join us as we explore the Welsh capital. Cardiff Castle. The keep was originally made out of wood and then later turned into stone because the, I forget the royal that built the castle, he and his wife got captured. So obviously their keep wasn't very good. It needed a better mode for sure. Once the wood was replaced, I think it was more secure. But let's go check it out. Yeah, let's do it. Found the library. Quite the bookworm, you. Yeah. And they have some of my favorites. The castle stronghold that wasn't very strong. <laughs> but now it is. Dude, it's another room in a castle with a bunch of like windows that are very narrow and deep set. Shoot arrows out of the windows to defend the key. It's like the birthing canal. <laughs> This legend right here is Delwyn. He's the dragon on the flag. Dustin from the future here. Just fact checking myself. If you watch Kinging It, you'll know Craig and Amy have a knack for coming up with amazing names for inanimate objects. So when we asked Amy to name our gimbal, she named it Delwyn after a stuffed dragon someone gifted them. Well, Delwyn, that's the name of this dragon, but it's a lovely Welsh name. Since it was clearly intended to represent this guy on their flag, I just assumed that was the official name of the Welsh dragon. But when I checked Google, the closest thing I could find to an official name is this. I don't know how to pronounce that. And apparently Google hasn't yet gone through the trouble of recording actual humans in Welsh. But I did find this guy. And just to complete this linguistic grabbit hole, here's a fun weather report. Just up the road from Clan Byrd Pusk Wingish go get a quindrobos, Clan Tisilio go go go. God help me if I ever have to learn Welsh. We came to this escape room. It is called. Escape room. Ooh, Escape room Cardiff. It was quite nice. We were the bad guys, so we were employed by, well, we did the Sherlock Holmes one. Holmes one. 
we were hired by Moriarty to enter the escape room and put a fake file in replacement of a file that we stole from him because he had some shit on Moriarty. So True. that was our didn't job. didn't hide it well enough. Yeah. We got out with 16 minutes to spare. Yeah. They were badasses. Thanks to the team back there. Easy yeah, good times. Yeah. Would you recommend? Yes. Great. Thanks for being on the vlog. <laughs> and we'll finish off with some umbrellas and a castle. I have ordered the orange chocolate smasherack. So I smack the shit and then it does some stuff and then I'm gonna drink it. Let's see it. <laughs> Went a little too hard. But then you can eat it. And break the teeth. <laughs> Calm down. How is it? I mean, I haven't had the drink yet. I'm just putting the rest of the shattered stuff in. Cheers. Really sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With all the sugar you just smashed in there. And take another, like, pint of insulin and see you in the morning. Have a bath in it. Oh, want to try it? It's really sweet. I, I barely even taste the bourbon. Okay. Kendra drinking whiskey again. Why do I punish myself? Because you love it. Cheers. Cheers back at you. Oh. It's so sweet. You won't even taste the bourbon. Do it. Oh. Lies. <laughs> Lies. Fair enough. Lies. You don't want it on your white shirt, Marie? Top of the morning to you blokes! Dudes! It's our final day in Cardiff. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very. If you've seen our Lima video, we did a hotel tour. And as I edited that video, I felt really silly because it was just a standard hotel room that everyone has seen. And I thought, we should not do hotel tours because they provide absolutely no value. It's just us dicking around. However, this isn't just a typical hotel that we're staying at. This is the area outside of our bed and breakfast. It is the Park Lane guest house. Got some nice plants here too. I didn't expect to see like these tropical kinds of trees here in Cardiff. The only downside to this guest house is I did not see a lift. So we did have to haul our suitcases up to our room a few flights, but it wasn't too bad. This is where the managers stay. Down that hallway is a little area where you can sit and eat if you want. We haven't used it too much. And a lovely seating area outside. And then our room is just up here. Let's go up these stairs. few more stairs, and our room's just at the end of that hallway up there. Hi! Come on in! So, that's the room. Come in, bed straight away. Got a little nightstand right there with some drawers. Got a fan, keeps it nice and cool. The bed's super comfortable. Yeah, it's been great. Nice and soft. TV. Another set of drawers. And a place where we're storing all of our luggage. Some hangers. We do have an ensuite. Take you into the toilet. The commode. And the shower. And the world's most adorable sink. And uh, this concludes our room tour. It's like showering in a closet under the stairs. It's all you really need for, for a good stay in Cardiff. It's not like we really hang out in the room much. They have parking out back. Oh uh, yeah, we can show them that. Park there and then you just leave through the little alleyway back there. You know the cute little houses with their adorable chimneys being all Welsh and stuff. It's been a lovely stay. It's a good place to stay if you're going to Cardiff. Okay, bye. I'm bored to death on the job. I'm sick of walking this dog. It's like I live in a fog. Uh -huh. Tonight I want something new.